Aren't you sick of drinking your booze out of a jar like an animal? Are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you, you drunk fool. Oh. Oh. Is there an alternative? Sure, there is. The new Hobo Cup. And if you want one of these, don't wait too long. Jump your local dumpster right now and get you the new and improved 100% Made in America Hobo Mug. Uh, hey, you. Are you okay? Probably shouldn't have used real booze. Let me show you how I've made this little DIY hobo bushcraft post-apocalyptic coffee mug slash cooking pot. Yeah, because this thing is not only a coffee mug, it is also a very sturdy cooking pot. So, to disassemble it, you just pull this wire through here and hook it in. And now it's in cooking pot mode. Very sturdy, perfect to make your beans or stuff and to store it away. Just put the handle inside and yeah, that's it. And now I show you how to make it. First of all, you need this little tool here to punch through the metal. And next, of course, you need a nice pair of pliers, just like this one. Maybe not as rusty as mine, but the rust is not necessary. To punch a hole through the can, you can also use the awl on your pocket knife. And now, let's get it started. The first step is to go to your local dumpster and find your nice tin can, just like this one here. Then you crimp down the brim so you don't cut your lips open when you drink and make sure there are no sharp edges left so test it with your finger and don't cut yourself in the next step you need your pocket knife or the punch tool and you make two small holes in the top of the can just like this make sure the holes are equally spaced and then we start with the wire. To bend the wire you can use your pliers or just your fingers but it is easier with the pliers. Just bend it roughly in shape and then use the pliers for the fine work. And if it looks something like this, well then you are finished. Now let me show you how to assemble it. We take the wire and we put it in here. Just simply like this. Then we hook it in here and now what you have is the cooking mode. So to hang it over your fire. If this is not solid enough you can always make a small indent here or a slit. So this end will rest even more solid in here, but for me it was always enough. And now to assemble it, you hook it into these holes, put it through the holes, just like this, and then hook it in. Finished! Easy and solid. This is it's not coming off. This is very solid. And the wire being so thin means there is no heat transfer from this to this. So you don't want to burn your fingers here. If you have it like this, it's perfectly to drink your coffee or to 
eat your beans out of it. If you want to hang it over the fire, you just put this through here and hook it on here. Very versatile, yeah. Hook it in, it hooks in here. And it's, that's completely solid, this holding perfect. If you wouldn't make it with these holes, and just bend the piece of wire, it would be very flimsy. Nothing you wanna trust like this. But with the holes installed, this is going nowhere. Very solid. Perfect. Hobo coffee mug. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, subscribe. And share this video with your friends, family, or with those people who could maybe be interested in a hobo cup.